Hi viewers, welcome to SS Academy channel. Today we are going to discuss about 10th standard unit 4 electricity lesson. Before starting the lesson, we want to know about charge. Means what? Charge. The protons and electrons possess some charge. Protons has positive charge. Electron has negative charge. Neutron does not possess any charge. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. Then next we want to know about what is meaning of conductors and insulators. Conductors are those materials in which electrons can move freely. All metals are conductors. Insulators do not have any free electrons to move. For example, wood and plastic. Okay, let us start electric current. Electric current is uh, a motion of electric charge. Uh, charges means is a electrons through a conductor. For the example of copper wire will constitute an electric current. This is similar to the flow of water through a channel of flow of air from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure. Okay. In a similar manner, the electric current passes from them positive terminal that means that a higher electric potential to the lower electric potential positive terminal to the negative terminal through a wire next definition of electric current so electric current is often termed as current is represented by the symbol i it is defined as the rate of flow of charges in a conductor so, this means the electric current represents the amount of charges flowing in any cross section of a conductor. A conductor is the metal wire. If a net charge Q passes through any cross section of a conductor in time T, then the current flowing through the conductor is I is equal to Q divided by T. So, this could be used to solve problems. Okay. So, this formula I is equal to Q divided by T. Then next, SI unit of electric current. The SI unit of electric current is ampere A. This is denoted by the letter capital A. The current flow through a conductor is said to be 1 ampere. So, when the charge of 1 coulomb flows across any cross section of a conductor in 1 second. So, the formula 1 ampere is equal to 1 coulomb by 1 second. This could be asked in objective type uh, formula alone. The next at electric circuit. An electric circuit is a closed conducting loop or path. Okay. So, this path is made uh, using electrical wires. So, as to connect an electric appliances to a source of electric charges. So, this, uh, see the sigmatic diagram of an electric circuit comprising of a battery, electric burn and a switch. Next. So here are some examples of the components of a circuit. So, this could be asked in a 3 mark question, objective type questions. Concentrate it. Then, next, electric potential. The electric potential at a point is defined as the amount of work done in moving a unit positive charge from infinity. This is a very important keyword here. So, positive charge from infinity. To that point against the electric force. Electric potential difference means that positive charge from one point to another point against the electric force. Okay. This could be asked in three mark questions. Concentrate it. The next. Here suppose you have moved a charge Q from a point A to another point B. Let W be the work done to move the charge from A to B. So, the potential difference between the points A and B is given by the following expression. See here the potential difference V is equal to work done by charge. So, suppose uh, the potential difference is also equal to the difference in electric potential of these two points. So, if V A and V B represent electric potential at the points A and B respectively. So, V is equal to V A minus V B. V is equal to Vb minus Va. Next is a volt. This could be asked in 3 mark questions. Concentrate it. The SI unit of electric potential or potential difference is volt. It is denoted by the letter capital V. 
the potential difference between two points is 1 volt. So, what is the formula? 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per 1 coulomb. Next is a very important Ohm's law. So, the German physics, the John Simon Ohm established the relation between the potential difference and current, which is known as Ohm's law. So, according to Ohm's law, at a constant temperature, the steady current I flowing through a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference V between the two ends of the conductor. So, let us write the formula I is directly proportional to V or otherwise I by V is equal to constant. This could be used to solve the problems. So, what is the Ohm's law? V is equal to I R. Next, resistance of a material. Resistance, resist means it oppose the flow of charges. So, it is different for different materials. So, V by I is equal to R from Ohm's law. The resistance of a conductor can be defined as the ratio between the potential difference across the ends of the conductor and the current flowing through it. So next, unit of resistance is ohm. So, the resistance of a conductor is said to be 1 ohm. If a current of 1 ampere flows through it when a potential difference of 1 volt is maintained across its ends. So, 1 ohm is equal to 1 volt by 1 ampere. This could be asked in objective type questions. The next electrical resistivity. Resistance of any conductor R is directly proportional to the length of the conductor L and is inversely proportional to its area of cross section A. So, here the rho is a constant. So, therefore R is equal to rho into L by A. This could be uh, used as solved problems. Next. The electrical resistivity of a material is defined as the, the resistance of a conductor of unit length and unit area of cross section. It is unit as ohm meter. Okay. The next. Conductance and conductivity. Conductance of a material is the property of a material to aid the flow of charges and hence the passage of current in it. The conductance of a material is mathematically defined as the recipro reciprocal of its resistance, capital R. Hence, the conductance G of a conductor is given by capital G is equal to 1 by R. Has a unit is ohm to the power of minus 1. It is also represented as mo, m h o. Okay. Then next, here are some resistivity of some materials. This could be asked in objective type questions. Concentrated is, it is very important. TNPC exams also, this question many times they ask. Then next step, resistors in series. Here, series uh, circuit connects the components one after the other to form a single loop. A series circuit has only one loop through which current can pass. The three resistance R1, R2 and R3 be connected in series. Okay. And then uh, potential difference is a V1 and V2 and a V3. So, R1, R2 and R3 respectively. V1 is equal to IR1. V2 is equal to IR2. V3 is equal to I R3. V is the potential difference. I is the current. R is the resistors. Okay. The next V is equal to final formula. What we get? V is equal to I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. This could be used to solve the problems. Next. Uh, it is uh, serious combination of the resistors V R S. Then V is equal to I R S. So, Rs is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. It is very important. Next. When N resistors of equal resistance R are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is R by N. This, the equivalent resistance in a parallel combination is less than the lowest of the individual resistance. Next. Serious parallel combinations of resistors and parallel serious combinations of resistors. Here, the series parallel. If you series uh, parallel combination, if you cons consider the connection of a set of parallel resistors that are connected in series, you get a series parallel circuit. So, final formula R total is equal to RP1 plus RP2. 
The next parallel series combination of resistors, if you consider a connection of a set of series resistors connected in parallel circuit, you get a parallel series circuit. So, final formula 1 by R total is equal to 1 by R S1 plus 1 divided by R S2. Then, next difference between series and parallel circuit here. Some criteria is given here, series and parallel curve. So, very important, concentrate it. The next, heating effect of current. So, the potential difference constitutes a current through the resistors. Okay. So, the a, a part of the energy from the source can be converted into useful work and the rest will be converted into heat energy. So, the passage of electric current through the wire result in the production of heat. Okay. This phenomenon is called as a heating effect of current. So, this heating effect of current is used in devices like electric heater, electric, uh, electrician, etc. Next, Joule's law of heating. Let I be the current and R is the resistance, V is the potential difference. So, the charge flowing through the circuit for a time interval uh, T is Q. Interval T is the Q. So, H is equal to W is equal to V Q. So, final H is equal to I squared RT. This is known as Joule's law of heating. Okay. This is also very important objective type questions. Next, applications of heating effect. First, let us discuss the electric heating device. The heating effect of electric current is used in many home appliances such as electric ion, electric toaster, electric oven, etc. In these appliances, like nichrome, which is an which is an alloy of nickel and chromium, is used as a heating element. Why? Because it is high resistivity, high melting point, and it is not easily oxidized. The next fuse wire. Fuse wire is connected in series. So, in an electric circuit, when a large current passes through the circuit, the fuse wire melts due to Joule's heating effect. And hence the circuit gets disconnected. Okay. So, the fuse wire is made up of material whose melting point is relatively low. Okay. The, uh, therefore, the circuit and the electric appliances are saved from any damages. Next is the filament and bulbs. In electric bulbs, a small wire is used known as filament. Uh, filament means it is a small wire. So, the filament is made up of a material whose melting point is very high. When the filament is heated, it glows and gives out light. For the tungsten, is the commonly used material to make the filament in bulbs. It is very important objective type question. The next, electric power. So, current I flow flows through a conductor of resistance or a time T, then the potential difference across the two ends of the conductor is V. So, the work done W to move the charge across the end of the conductor is uh, W is equal to V I T. Power P is equal to work by time. This formula very important. Power formula, power P is equal to work divided by T. Or otherwise, P is equal to V I. Okay. The next unit of electric power. Uh, in, uh, uh, watt. The SI unit of electric power is Watt. So, P is equal to 1 volt into 1 ampere is equal to 1 watt. The next, consumption of electrical energy. Uh, for example, if 100 watt of electric power is consumed for 2 hours, then the power consumed is 100 into 2 is equal to 200 watt hour. Suppose 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt hour, uh, equal to 1000 into 60 into 60. So, watt second is equal to 3.6 into 20 power of 6 joule. The next is the domestic electric circuit. So, in our homes, electricity is distributed through the domestic electric circuits wired by the electricians. The first stage of the domestic circuit is to bring the power supply to the main box from a distribution panel such as transformer. The important components of the main boxes are a fuse box and the meter. The meter is used to record the consumption of electrical energy. Okay. So, then, then the MCB, the fuse box uh, contains either a fuse wire or a mini, 
miniature circuit breaker MCB. The function of the fuse wire or a MCB is to protect the household electrical appliances from overloading due to excess current. Overloading and excess current. See the overloading and the short circuiting. Uh, the fuse wire or MCB will disconnect the circuit the event of an overloading and short circuiting. Okay, the next earth thing. In domestic circuits, a third wire called the earth wire having green insulating insulations is usually connected to the body of the metallic electric appliance. The other end of the earth wire is connected to a metal tube or a metal electrode which is buried into the earth. So, this uh, wire provides a lower resistance path of the electric current. Okay. The next LED bulb. Next is the LED bulb. An LED bulb is a semiconductor device that we know very well that emits visible light when an electric current passes through it. The color of the emitted light will depend on the type of materials used. With the help of the chemical components like gallium arsenide and gallium phosphate, uh, the manufacturer can produce the LED bulbs that radiates red, green, yellow and orange colors. The next is a 7 segment display. Uh, we know the 7 segment display where we used means uh, 7 segment display of watches. In our digital watches we used the 7 segment display. Okay, then next here the A, B, C, D is here and then uh, uh, it is used in digital meters, digital clocks, microwave ovens etc. So, okay, the 7 segment displays we used. The, the seven, these seven LEDs are named as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. On etc. 8 LEDs used to display a dot. Okay. Then next is the uh, merits of a LED bulb. As there is no filament, there is no loss of energy in the form of heat. Okay, and uh, low power requirement, it is not harmful of, to the environment, a wide range of colors is possible, then it is a cost efficient and energy efficient, mercury and the other toxic materials are not required, this is the merits of LED bulbs. LED television is one of the most important appliances of uh, light emitting diodes. An LED TV is actually on LCD TV. LCD means a liquid crystal display with the LED display. The next is the advantages of LED television. It has brighter, thinner, less power. Its lifespan is more, it is more reliable. Okay. So, this question and all very important. Three more questions they ask the advantages. Okay. Uh, hope you understand this lesson. If you have any doubts means put into the comment box.